For years, the world has watched a quiet war unfold not with bombs, but with cyber attacks and stolen secrets. China believed it had struck gold by stealing blueprints of the US F-22 Raptor, hoping to fast-track its own stealth jet. But America had a surprise in store, the next-generation air dominance fighter. More than just a new jet, next-generation air dominance represents a total transformation in aerial warfare with unmatched stealth, speed, AI wingmen, and groundbreaking materials. And it's set to take control of the skies by 2030. Here's why China and Russia are on high alert. The legacy of the F-22 Raptor. The F-22 Raptor, though a fifth-generation fighter, remains one of the most advanced jets ever built. Designed for air dominance, it features stealth shaping, hidden intakes, and cutting-edge materials to avoid radar detection. Its APG-77 radar tracks multiple targets in any weather, while over 30 antennas provide threat detection and battlefield data sharing turning it into a flying command hub. Armed with internal bays for long- and short-range missiles and optional bomb racks, it can handle both air and ground missions. External hardpoints add even more versatility. But despite its power, leaked tech allowed China to begin developing the J-31 stealth fighter. While China mimicked the past, the US was quietly building the future, the next generation air dominance. The future of air combat. The next generation air dominance project is far more than a fighter jet. It's a network ecosystem of manned and unmanned aircraft, each working in unison to achieve total battlefield dominance. At the center is the next generation air dominance fighter itself, which will replace the F-22 in a light air missions. What makes next generation air dominance so groundbreaking is its integration with collaborative combat aircraft autonomous drones that fly alongside the fighter and serve as support units. These collaborative combat aircraft can be controlled directly by the next generation air dominance pilot and carry out tasks such as electronic warfare, reconnaissance, or direct attack missions. A swarm, not a solo act. Each next generation air dominance jet will be paired with at least two collaborative combat aircraft, creating a swarm that overwhelms enemy forces. These AI-powered drones are equipped to jam radars, intercept missiles, launch attacks, and provide early warnings. Even if a collaborative combat aircraft is taken out, the remaining units ensure the mission continues. It's a three-against-one scenario where enemies face not just a pilot but a self-coordinated strike team. This fusion of manned and unmanned operations gives the U.S. military a decisive edge in combat extending its reach, resilience, and lethality beyond what traditional fighter jets can offer. Next Generation Air Dominance Invisibility Cloak Stealth has long been a defining edge in air combat, but the Next Generation Air Dominance fighter takes it to a whole new realm. While much of its technology remains under wraps, insider leaks point to a revolutionary advancement. Thermal cloaking, unlike traditional stealth that focuses solely on radar evasion, next generation air dominance design goes further by managing and redirecting engine and system heat, making it nearly invisible to infrared and thermal sensors. This means enemy forces can't rely on heat signatures to detect or track it, even with advanced IR detection tech. What does that mean on the battlefield? Next generation air dominance can fly in, strike, and disappear without ever being seen, not on radar, not on thermal scans, not at all. Operating at altitudes of up to 60,000 feet, it also gains a tactical edge, launching long range attacks from above before the enemy even knows it's there. It's not just stealth, it's stealth redefined. Next level speed and endurance. Powering this advanced platform is the next generation air dominance next generation engine. Built under the adaptive engine transition program and refined into what's known as the next generation adaptive propulsion system. Developed with Pratt and Whitney, the next generation adaptive propulsion features an adaptive cycle that can shift airflow to optimize for either speed or fuel efficiency. This allows the next generation air dominance to super cruise, maintain Maintain supersonic flight without afterburners potentially exceeding Mach 2, a speed few fighters can reach without compromising stealth. What makes this propulsion even more impressive is its ability to manage heat more effectively than any current jet. By efficiently cooling its components, the next generation air dominance reduces its inferred visibility and boosts engine lifespan while also offering longer range and less need for refueling. Weapons designed for the future. If the next generation air dominance is the sword, its blade is forged from cutting-edge missiles and strike systems. 
Among its most feared armaments is the Raytheon AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile. This next-gen missile boasts a top speed of Mach 5 and a range of 120 miles well beyond visual range, allowing it to neutralize threats before they can even react. Designed specifically to outmatch new adversaries like China J-31, Joint Advanced Tactical Missile includes advanced radar and inertial guidance systems, making it extremely difficult to evade once launched. In addition, the next-generation air dominance is expected to carry the stand-in attack weapon, a Northrop Grumman system aimed at destroying mobile surface threats like air defense platforms and enemy warships. Combined, these weapons make the next-generation air dominance a multi-role platform capable of winning both air-to-air -air fights and precision ground strikes. Built to survive, revolutionary materials, speed, and stealth are nothing without survivability, and the next-generation air dominance excels here as well thanks to the use of ceramic matrix composites in its airframe and engine components. These ultralight, heat-resistant materials are far superior to traditional metal alloys. They offer high strength at extreme temperatures, excellent resistance to fractures, and are about one-third the weight of conventional materials. This makes the next-generation air dominance more maneuverable, faster, and capable of carrying a heavier weapons load. Ceramic matrix composites technology also contributes to the engine's thermal stealth capabilities by reducing heat emissions. And perhaps most critically, the tech is not exclusive to next-generation air dominance, it's also being integrated into the F-35, ensuring the U.S. military maintains material superiority across multiple platforms. Operational Altitude Advantage One of the most underrated features of the next-generation air dominance is its ability to fly higher than most adversary aircraft. Operating at altitudes around 60,000 feet, the next-generation air dominance not only evades detection more effectively, but can also fire missiles with greater speed and range due to reduced atmospheric drive. This high ground dominance means the next generation air dominance can see first, shoot first, and disappear engaging targets that are both lower and slower giving opponents little chance to counter. Price of power. Is next generation air dominance too expensive? Of course, all this bleeding edge technology comes at a cost around $300 million per unit, nearly three times the price of an F-35, and that figure does not include its accompanying CCAs. This financial reality means the US can't afford next generation air dominance in bulk. Instead, the next generation air dominance is being positioned as a tip of the spear force reserve for the most sensitive high-risk missions where failure isn't an option. It will work alongside the F-22, F-35, and upcoming F-AXX Navy fighters to ensure U.S. air superiority remains unchallenged. The F-AXX, next-generation air dominance naval counterpart. The U.S. Navy is not sitting idle either. It's working on its own sixth-generation fighter, the F-AXX, which will replace the F-A-18 Super Hornet. Slated to enter service in the 2030s, this fighter will offer similar stealth supercruise and AI capabilities but optimized for aircraft carrier operations. One of its most innovative concepts is smart skin technology integrating sensors directly into the aircraft's body to reduce drag and boost performance. It may also feature modular architecture, allowing sensors, weapons, and systems to be swapped quickly based on mission needs. The Navy is also exploring whether the FAXX should be manned, unmanned, or optionally piloted, reflecting the growing trend toward flexible AI-supported warfare. Air dominance redefined. The next generation air dominance isn't just a new aircraft, it's a paradigm shift from stealth that borders on invisibility to AI-driven drone swarms and engines that think on the fly. The next generation air dominance represents the culmination of decades of aerospace advancement. It may be expensive, it may not be mass-produced, but in the air battles of the future where the margin for error is razor thin, the next generation air dominance offers a near-unbeatable combination of survivability, lethality, and strategic superiority. In a world where aerial dominance is more important important than ever. Next generation air dominance doesn't just change the game, it becomes the new rulebook. If you found this video insightful and want to stay ahead of the curve on cutting edge military tech, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Got thoughts on the next generation air dominance or what the future of air combat might look like? Drop a comment below, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next mission briefing.